Today's video is brought to you by Barnes and Noble and Wizarding World Gold. Hey brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J versus Ben, where today we're taking on the pretty obvious Gilderoy Lockhart quiz over on Pottermore. Is that what it's actually called? I don't think it is, but it's, it's what it should be called. P-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
is magical me. Oh. <laughs> if you guys could see Tyler. We need a face cam on we, Tyler. I know, we need a face point. cam on Tyler. So you like. It's just this dimly lit corner of the room. <laughs> Question four. What house was Lockhart in? Oh boy. When he was born. <laughs> ah, street address. Trick question. Okay. It took me a second to get that joke. I, just, I was like, probably still Ravenclaw. Oh, by the way. Oh, Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Well, let me change my answer. Hold on. Ravenclaw is the correct answer. Yeah. That is a uh, that's a Pottermore question. But we we have talked about that quite a bit. Yes, for sure we have. Question five. What were Lockhart's secret ambitions? This is like my favorite Lockhartism. Whoo-wee! I'm sorry, my handwriting is so bad. You usually don't write vertically on glass anyway, so. <laughs> it's not much better on paper, but sidewalk chalk on sidewalk, perfect. Yeah. You would think I was you, a calligrapher. You make a hopscotch set like you wouldn't believe. Like you wouldn't believe <laughs> without right. even guidelines. Ready? Three, two, one. Market his own line of hair care products. And to rid the world of evil? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I just confirmed that's what I wrote. That's what I wrote too. Okay. That is that is correct. And I've always loved this answer and this thing about Lockhart because that's what Harry does, is like his fortune comes from hair care products. <laughs> yes. And he rids the world of evil. Mm, it is mm. true. I guess that Harry is, is personally marketing the hair care products. But his family, his wealth, his, his that wealth. pile of gold at Gringotts. Yeah. Unbeknownst to him, he is. And unbeknownst to him, he's doing a bad job because his hair is always messed up. Question six. Which of these was not a Lockhart book required by second year students? Mm. And I will give you the answers. Yeah. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> is it A, break with a banshee, B, travel with trolls, travels with trolls, C, holidays with hags, or D, visits with vampires? Well now, all of these I'm pretty sure are real. One of them just must not be on the book list. How could any of these be useful? Like, how many did he assign just for defense against the dark arts? All he really, I think, wants is the job to sell books. It's a guaranteed... It's a guaranteed way to sell books. It's a guaranteed sure. way to sell like a thousand books. How many students are at Hogwarts? Like 240. 240, yeah. so if they each have to buy, you know, four books. That's Mental like math. Awesome. Yeah. I'm not that wrong. <laughs> I'm not that wrong. Exactly. You are exactly 40 wrong. <sighs> Man. Man, I feel like Man. this is... I. They're all... If one of these is made up, they're all pretty... They they're are all, all pretty all... compelling. I know. All right, you ready? No. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I guess. Let's ready? just do it. Okay. <laughs> Based on skill alone, the answer is A. A. Oh, okay. We're so smart. We're smart, right? The correct answer is visits with vampires. Really? Man! Visits with vampires. I'm pretty sure that is a book he's written, though. Or are we thinking of vampires because of Quirrell? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe it's visit with a vampire or something. Oh, that would be so irritating. Yeah. If it was like a slight change in the actual title. Right. Oh yeah, that'd be real dumb. To the quiz masters at Pottermore slash Wizarding World. If that's what you're doing, that's frustrating. Question seven. How many people sent Lockhart a card for Valentine's Day in Chamber of Secrets? Gosh. How many? Yes. I could ask what were their names, but I think that would be way harder. I don't that, think they list all the names I don't either. think they do. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put the the number that came to my mind, and I will take the multiple choice. Okay, I also put the number that came into my mind. Is it A, 12, B, 46, C, 61, or D, 84? Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. 46. 46. 46 is right, yeah. That's yeah. what I wrote down ahead of time. Nice, okay, yeah. I put down 39, and then I was like, or was it 42? And then when 46 came up, I was like, that's it. Nailed it. Boom. 46. Ahem, <clears throat> <clears throat> And now for the Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. This question comes from patron Gildor Lockhart himself. What? No. Yes. The real? The real Gilderoy Lockhart. Spectacular. I didn't know he was supporting us on Patreon. Me neither. Select all that apply. Oh, man. <laughs> what is Gilderoy Lockhart's best feature? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh, Select yeah. all that apply. <laughs> oh, and, yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> that, this feels, <laughs> feels like poorly worded. <laughs> Anyway, go on. Is it A, dazzling blue eyes? There's a bunch of them, so just write A through I think G. Oh my God. <laughs> Which weekly's five time most charming smile? C, his gorgeous golden hair? D, his 
perfect personality, E, his amazing sense of style, F, his magnificent mind, G, his selfless defender of the wizarding world, H, yeah. his skill with charms. Okay. All right, my answer. I, I feel like, is it just obvious? Yeah. <laughs> is it pretty obvious? <laughs> That's pre pretty obvious. This is a joke question. The whole thing, because that's why it's submitted by him. It's slightly frustrating. It still. is, yeah. It worries me that there's going to be, okay, three, two, one, all of them. All of them. They'll be like, actually, he had green eyes, losers. <laughs> the only correct answer is that he had green eyes, losers. No, <laughs> yeah, the answer is all the above. Yeah. <laughs> pretty yeah. obvious. Pretty obvious. Oh. Let me just say, last time the quiz master question was the deciding factor. And I will say that if you are in our Patreon, and you have access to our Discord server. We have no fewer than, I think, like eight Gilderoy Lockhart emojis in there right now. We do. Yes. We do. Which yes. you can activate with command pretty obvious or pretty bobvious or pretty sobvious or pretty globvious or etc. Anyway, you should go and check out our Patreon because it is awesome. I could talk more about that because that wasn't a real Patreon question. That was submitted by Jordan, actually. Now for the real Patreon <laughs> quiz master question. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> Our quiz master is slowly turning into Santa Claus. The quiz ma this question was submitted by Chris. Ho, ho, ho. By Chris Kringle. Chris Kringle. No. Chris Ray, non Skywalker, and selected by patrons. Okay. To get your question in the game or to vote on which question is selected, go to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the quiz master tier. The quiz master tier. The quiz master tier. <laughs> what is Gilderoy Lockhart's Patronus? What is Lockhart's Patronus? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying to find the right mm-hmm in this voice. This is, to my knowledge, not known information. Because, first of all, there's no way he can even make one. You're all like gobsmacked. I am absolutely, <laughs> because the only spell he's good at is the memory charm. And it's a hard spell. And it's a charm. What's his Patronus? Yep. If th is this like another trick? Is it like himself? <laughs> That's the only could be right answer in my mind. <laughs> or so. a mirror. A bug art. <laughs> <laughs> what is a particularly Even like arrogant animal? And, is yeah. there such a thing? Do you think it's fair to ask if this is a trick question and the answer is that he can't do one? I think that that is a fair question. Because, because uh, if, if we had not like, discussed it this much, I would have written down, he can't perform one. Right. Is that the answer? That is not the answer. It okay. is an animal. No. But now I've just given you the answer. So. I don't know. I, this is going to be, I'm going to be so frustrated if you pull like a rabbit out of the hat. It's not or a, it's a, not hair. a hair <laughs> out of the hat, as it were. Anyway, let's just go. Because I feel like two, you wrote the same one. thing. All right, himself. I put a mirror. You are both incorrect. So that's good. No, no points gained or lost. It is... Uh, the answer given from Patreon is non-corporeal. So he can't So he can't do one. Everyone he, saw us got this right. They've heard the discussion. <clears throat> this is... Okay. No, I mean, non-corporeal... We it led to a poor answer. Non-corporeal means that you can produce, like, the, the misty the vapor. Mist. Yeah. Yeah. Who was that questioner? Chris Ray. I'm coming Chris to Ray. I Chris want to Ray. know where that's sourced from. Like, is it just on the Wikipedia? I don't even think that's in his, like... Ebook entry. The only thing I think gives it merit is the fact that specifically what he was so good at is memory charms, and the Patronus is a charm. And so if he's going to be make you good at all charms, no, it does not. But if you're going to say that you're going to, I mean, not not being able to produce a corporeal Patronus means you're not good at casting a Patronus would be my argument. But like maybe you're just good enough to. I think our initial answer of he can't do one is the correct answer. I'm fine with that. Anyway, carry whatever. on. It doesn't matter because we both failed in the same way. Jay so. is, is steaming. There's heat coming from that way. Okay. Question eight. What spell did Lockhart attempt to cast with Ron's wand, resulting in it rebounding upon him? Like the specific spell? The specific spell. Like the... I'm going to write. You good? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. The memory charm. The Obliviate. answer. Obliviate. <laughs> the answer is Obliviate. Yeah. Goodness. I know. I was like, I'm not missing this because I write down Obliviate or because I wrote down Memory Charm. Right, right. <laughs> it is a Memory Charm called Obliviate. Yes. Question nine. What was Lockhart's favorite color? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Lilac. 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 How did yeah. any of you remember my favorite color is lilac? But Miss Hermione Granger knows my life's ambition. Which I already answered. I already answered that. Question 10. What creatures did Lockhart bring to Harry's first lef lesson? Oh, what are they called? 
Let's see what you make of them. Yes. All right. Three, two, one. Cornish pixies. Cornish pixies. I think the freshly way- caught. Cornish pixies. <laughs> Mr. I almost, I almost gave the qualifier. That is correct. Um, it, correct me if I'm wrong though. That's a film thing. Like the pixies don't show up until much later in the book. The nope. first lesson is just the quiz. Nope. Still first lesson. Really? Yep. I think the way <clears throat> the actor who plays Seamus pronounces it, like that, it was like Cornish, because he adds like a Cornish. Cornish pixies. Cornish pixies. Like, I was like, I don't know if that, if that sounds like another magic word, not a place where pixies are from. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. That's one of those things I always come back to it, like the things that are so cool. magical about the wizarding world to us are also sometimes things that are just British. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is it like, you know, if you're just there? Question 11. Whose address did Harry accidentally blot when responding to Lockhart's fan mail in Chamber of Secrets? This is like a random person's name. Mm -hmm. I would absolutely not know this if I wasn't presently reading Chamber of Secrets. Now as I, I just have to like invent a Wizarding World name. Yeah, good luck. Is it not like a like a normal name? <laughs> I mean, it's a wizardy sounding name. Oh my. If you that. But I don't think it's the kind of name that's going to just come to you. Oh no. You're gonna have to deep dive into your memory. My memory vault. I yeah. can't believe you know this. If I've even got it right. I don't even feel bad for not knowing this. Like, I yeah, I this is not bad. trivia. This is like... This is like, can you remember that w those two words next to each other on a page once? All right, I don't know why. This, this came to mind. All right. Okay. If you pull this out of nowhere, I'll be so impressed. No, I'm just thinking of random names. Okay. So literally, I have absolutely, I don't even know where this, uh, yeah, anyway. Three, okay. two, one. Gladys Gudgeon. So probably not Susan, Susan Fletcher. Fletcher. Ben, if I had given you the multiple choice of Midhari Patel, Sally Ann Perks, Veronica Smethley, and Gladys Gudgeon, what answer would you have given? Oh, I think then I would have recognized it. As what? Gladys Gudgeon. Okay, that's wrong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that, 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 is, that is what I would have, <laughs> yeah. like, that is the name that would have come to my mind. Is it uh, Veronica? It's Veronica Smethley. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm proud of myself for even remembering Gladys Gudgeon. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you an honorary Ben point for that. Can I get that next to my score? <laughs> Plus one honorary Ben point. Does not contribute towards beating Ben. <laughs> Can, you know, cannot be used to beat Ben. <laughs> Can be used to beat any other person. Ooh, pocket that one. Question 12. What organization was Lockhart an honorary member of? Say this one. pretty <laughs> obvious. You're like listing off all of his titles. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. This so, one I can feel on the fringe of your mind. Yeah, I have It's like some floating of it. right here. I can right. feel it. Yeah, it's like, it's like in the corner of my back cheek, actually. It's a yeah. strange place for it to be. Mm. It's like an apple. Or a popcorn kernel. A pop, that's exactly yeah, what it is. Like, yeah. Oh, this is, I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be gone. Should I flip the timer? Sure. I haven't really discussed the timer in this episode, but if you're brand new, the timer runs out and then we have to we have to show our answers. We can only use it three times a quiz. We haven't used it in a while, so. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. three, two, one. The Dark Force Defense League. Man, I was oh, close. Oh, you're so close. I had the Dark Arts Defense League. That is so close. Oh, man. So in case you're curious, the correct answer is the Dark Arts. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's the Dark Force Defense League. Yeah. It's the Gobstone Club. Man, uh. I, and I knew, I knew that it wasn't Dark Arts, but I knew that it was like something to do with the Dark Arts. Right. But then like at the same time, a Dark Arts Defense League also sort of feels like the Order of the Phoenix. Right. Yeah, where are they? Right, yeah. Where is this Dark Force Defense League when Voldemort comes back? It's just all a bunch of people who don't actually belong. That's how, like, That's and he's, how it And he's works. still only an honorary member. Yeah. <laughs> Question 13. What was the composition of Lockhart's wand? Wood, Wood and, and core. core of yes. Lockhart's wand. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Um, I don't feel like... They say this in the book. That, this has got to be Pottermore. Deep dive Pottermore stuff. Man, I'll go multiple choice because there's I, so many woods. Uh, that's the thing. Yeah. Is it A, cherry and dragon heartstring? B, holly and unicorn hair? C, vine and dragon heartstring? Or D, ash and unicorn hair? Man, I'm really just down to two. I'm down to two as well. I don't know. I have my guess. Okay. I have my guess as well. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. D. Ash and unicorn hair. The correct answer is 
Cherry and Dragon Heart Strip. Oh, oh, is it really? That was the other one. That was the other one. That was my other one as well. Because so, Holly is what Harry has. And it's definitely not that. Yeah. And then Vine and Dragon Heart Strip is straight up Hermione's wand. My thinking is that like Lockhart to me seems like a uni- unicorn hair. Yeah, that's type exactly of person. what I was too. But then Cherry Wood is like extremely nice. And yeah. I was like, that's going to be the kind of thing that he would like be really flashy about. Question 14. What was the name of the St. Mungo's ward that became Lockhart's permanent home after his memory charm backfired? Yeah, I will take multiple choice. Yeah. Okay. Is it A, the Dillis Derwent ward, B, the Janice Thickey ward, C, the Urquhart Rock Harrow ward, D, the Die Leo Willen ward? All right. I've got my guess. Okay. Me too. Three, two, one. A, B. Ooh. Ooh. The correct answer is B. B. Oh! No! I was like, that is the least magical sounding name ever. Because Dillis Dilward is like the headmistress who can go to St. Mungo's, right? Oh! Yeah. You're still right, Ben. (laughs) No, I know, but I was... Yeah, yeah. you're right. Like, if you'd remembered that, you would put A? Yes. Okay. Yes. I I like your logic better than I like my answer, (laughs) even though I was right. Okay. Question 15. For the tie. What time was Gilderoy Lockhart signing copies of his autobiography, Magical Me, at Flourish and Blots? And I'm looking for like a window of time. I'm com- I'm, I'm like arguing with like what logic I have in my head versus what I feel like would actually be effective in terms of hours for a bookstore to have such an event. Hmm. I think no matter how you slice it, it doesn't make a ton of sense. Ah. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm going to change it. Did you just remember it? No, I didn't remember it. I'm just going to change it. Okay. Hopefully I didn't just completely ruin myself. All right, three, two, one. I just said 9 to 11. I said 9.30 to 10.30. The thing I was competing with is this feels way too early in the morning. Well, in Hermione's letter to Ron, she asks if she can meet them there at 10 on Wednesday. By the time they've gotten there and like found Harry from Nocturne Alley and then gone to the bookshop, it's a little past 10. So... It has to be somewhere in the morning. Like, presumably, they can just leave at 10 because they're going to be there one instant later. Right. You know? Okay, what is the answer? Oh, uh, you're both wrong. Um, Right. The correct answer is 12.30 to 4.30 p.m. 12.30? That seems way too late. That is bananas. None of the answers are in the morning. Maybe maybe they're meeting them at noon. I said noon to one at first, but I never would have put such a window. That's a long time to sign, although it is Gilded. It is Lockhart. That was the other thing. Is this going to be like eight to eight or something hilarious? Oh, yeah. It's like like, like all day. 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. It's like, what? Yeah. Way too long. And he does have to sign approximately 960 to 1,000 books. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you so much to all of the patrons that are going across the screen right now. Oh my gosh. Look at, there's so many. My, that is, that's a handsome font I'm seeing. Oh, that is, that is a good font. And who who is that? Is that the Patreon quiz master of the day? Chris Ray? Hey, thanks, Chris. Hey, no, wow. Mm, I know some of these people from the Discord. We do. Oh, and the Google Hangouts. Wow. So many of our welcome friends here. So generous. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah. Guys are the best. Have a great day. Guys, be sure to let us know how you did on the Lockhart quiz. Did you beat us? Did we beat you in the towel section down below? Also, if you want to go and check out Wizarding World Gold, I do highly recommend it. It's super cool. Link is in the description down below. And if you want to see some more Gilderoy Lockhart action from us, you can check out this video right here to see why on earth Dumbledore ever even hired him. Or if you want to hear more of Tyler's voice, you can check out this link right here to see his podcast, bacon and eggs. But until next time, bye. bye.